just recently it occurred to me that I don't have enough hard drives and uh, giddy, giddy and uh, flush with success of uh, taking a 5 terabyte Seagate drive out of its USB shell. Um, I thought I might uh, try uh, doing things the proper way and ordering a genuine uh, standalone SATA drive. Um, this in this case uh, being a Western Digital Red 6 terabyte drive which we will shortly be uh, shoving into the Drobo and seeing if it works. Um, I have no doubt that it will, of course. Interesting thing, though, about um, the delivery of uh, this particular, for, a, for what is a £200 hard drive, it basically seems to have uh, been uh, wrapped up in a piece of cardboard, and uh, uh, particularly, I mean, in, in this country, um, senders of mail in the United Kingdom pay a certain amount of... Uh, charge not based solely on the weight of the item but also the size of it and in particular whether it easily fits through a letterbox which obviously saves the hard-working postman the time of actually knocking on the door or uh, uh, not being able to deliver parcels to people who might not be at home so there is a cost incentive for uh, uh, people who send any kind of post to basically keep it small make it the kind of thing that will go through someone's letterbox without incident which is fine, but for a £200 hard drive, what you probably don't want is for it to have a long, great big uh, uh, journey out of the uh, letterbox, bouncing off your uh, front doormat and uh, basically wrecking up whatever might be inside. We can at least hope that there's been no major uh, damage here, so let's get this open and unboxed. Uh, should not be terribly difficult, I'm not imagining. Seats uh, and yes, uh, uh, fra fragile, fr fragile marking on the inside of the package. You'll notice not visible to the actual uh, postman itself. That's an interesting approach, but uh, looks fair enough. Let's uh, give it a spin, see what's inside it. And oh well, okay, fair play. It's got a certain amount of uh, protective. Uh, wrapping has been applied to this so let's uh, even so I still wouldn't like to rate its chances against the g-force of just smacking itself on someone's uh, front doorstep but nevertheless I think what we have inside uh, the uh, beautiful pristine Western Digital red hard drive so fair enough all well and good not particularly exciting in itself but uh, the, the qu main question is, of course, will it work in the Drobo? Now, this is obviously a stupid question. There's no possibility of it not working. But, uh, I mean, uh, all, all, all current Drobos with the... Uh, or currently supported Drobos, I should say, with the latest um, firmware, apparently uh, no, no problem with hard drives of pretty much any attainable size uh, at the moment. But... Nevertheless, let's give it a try and see if it works. Okay, so never anything more exciting than opening a hard drive. Just take off the packaging there. So, one six terabyte Western Digital Red Drive. Now, um, some people, when they demonstrate one of the many capabilities of Drobo, uh, they uh, one particularly uh, exciting demonstration that is often given is uh, an example where someone is playing video of some kind, um, and basically you see you see it rolling and people take uh, drives out of the Drobo and uh, the video keeps going. It uh, it's, it shows the resilience and the complete impossibility of losing any kind of data and that kind of thing. So uh, if that's good enough for other people, why don't we try the same thing here? Um, over on the Mac, I'm going to start a fairly chunky-ish video playing, <coughs> which is uh, something called Bergensbanen, a uh, beautiful Norwegian trip through the, uh, uh, or I should say, a beautiful trip through the, uh, well, the tr many train systems of Norway. So let's see if we can start taking drives out of the Drobo while the video keeps going. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's give it a go. Now, if I remember correctly, this drive here is a three terabyte Western Digital green drive. So it is the 
second smallest in the unit. That's a three terabyte red drive. That's a three terabyte green drive. So first of all, let's just take that out. Ooh. No, it's the three terabyte red drive. I've taken out the wrong one. You can see the red lights are flashing, but uh, our, our train journey is uninterrupted, you will notice, from the uh, screen on the Mac there. So uh, let's put uh, red three back in. Give it a couple of seconds to wake up and realise uh, that it's uh, drive is not lost after all and uh, that uh, red light should turn to a happy green one after all the lights have flashed yellow for some reason not a problem I'm sure I think it's basically just satisfying itself that the drive that came back is in fact the drive that was uh, okay uh, <coughs> oh, the, the drive that came back is the drive that it was expecting the first time round. So there's a brief moment of red on that drive there, which is uh, surprising, but uh, this takes a lot longer than you'd expect. It's, uh, actually, and I notice from the, uh, the actual Drobo dashboard is that it tells me that data protection is in progress. Now, hopefully that means it's uh, not going to do anything particularly stupid and um, find itself rewriting all three terabytes of, dri of data to that drive that's just come back. It should hopefully have the intelligence to realise that that drive just uh, briefly dropped out of the array, which admittedly was my fault, um, uh, but, is, but is now back and is uh, there's actually very little extra work to do. So we'll... Uh, Give it a give it a few minutes to uh, get on with what it's doing before I completely lose patience and start pulling out drives at random. But uh, let's see how it goes. While we're waiting for Drobo to do its thing, let's uh, go on to the Western Digital hard drive site and at least uh, register our drive for the delicious warranty inside. Uh, I don't think we'll be uh, bothering about buying any MyCloud devices. I've got one of those and I can't say I recommend them to be honest. I might make a video about that later. But uh, let me remind myself where we log in and uh, register things. Right, here we go. Off to register our products, which means that we'll be needing to look up the uh, crazy numbers on the front. Should not be a problem. Please enter the serial number. Seems happy with that. Looking for a purchase date. To be fair, that was a couple of days ago. And let's see, purchase from an online retailer. In this case, a company called dabs.com, which is actually owned by the phone company in this country. Very exciting. <coughs> so clicking on continue there should uh, register the drive, reveal that it has uh, wonderful many years of uh, warranty left for us. Yes, there it is, 1,106 days of warranty, so good until 2017. Unfortunately Drobo is still flashing its uh, green and yellow lights, which is a bit of a concern, but... Uh... Ah, now here is the thing. Drobo tells us that drive protection and data protection is in progress, and I know that there's not really anything significant it can be doing because no data was written to the array in the 25 seconds or so that the drive was out of the uh, enclosure, but do I risk not waiting for this to finish and just thinking, I'm sure it'll be fine, I'll just pop one of the drives out of the array, put the new one in, it'll all be fine. Do I take that risk? Now th this Drobo is actually set up with um, uh, dual drive protection anyway. So even if it assumes that one of these drives has gone, theoretically it can still lose another, another one without actually having any uh, risk to the data. The question is, do I take the risk? For the moment I'm going to give it a certain amount of time. You see from the uh, uh, screen on the Drobo dashboard that it says the data protector is in progress. It's not giving me any kind of uh, uh, time for a resolution, which is what we saw last time when I put the 5 terabyte Seagate drive in there. It uh, was uh, at least uh, quite open and mentioned 11 hours, 12 hours to go or whatever and, and it got on with it in the end. It, it did actually finish it and uh, just uh, you know as you do you leave these things overnight and in the morning everything's fine. 
but uh, I'm still relatively new to the world of Drobo, and from the occasional horror stories that I've heard from people who've lost all of their precious data, and there's nothing particularly precious on this, but uh, nonetheless, still don't want to lose some stuff for no reason. Uh, but uh, the, the number of people who've uh, lost precious data to perhaps being a little bit impetuous, a little bit silly, makes me think, no, perhaps a bit of caution is required here. Let's leave it. Let's see what happens. And then I have another dangerous thought, and I think, maybe it'll go faster if I just turn it off, and then turn it back on again. And, you think, and uh, th that, uh, e e e even the impetuous side of me is saying, that's going to be a really bad idea, and you're going to lose all of your data. You are not going to be impressed with the way that that turns out. So, well, once again, let's uh, give it a bit more time, and uh, let's come back to it later. And as it happens, yes, impetuousness is definitely not winning the day, as despite my uh, somewhat hasty uh, comment earlier, there actually is information on this drive array that I don't want to lose. So, let's play it by the book. I have plenty of time, I have all the time in the world, and eventually these green and yellow lights will stop flashing, and I'm uh, only, only just now realising the uh, inadvisability of having a moving video demonstration on the screen behind you there, as it, uh, it completely exposes every time that I uh, take a uh, what should be a completely smooth and undetectable cut to cover any coughs or edits that I make while I'm uh, talking about this load of rubbish. So, once again, let's uh, leave it to its own devices. I'm sure it won't be long, and then we can get on with uh, adding a bit more storage into this thing. I just want to know if anything would speed it up. Maybe if I sort of like, knock on the drives a little bit, it'll encourage them into action and make them say, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, was I meant to be doing something? I'll get right on that, and I'll stop flashing these lights at you. Actually, as I knocked that, I heard one of the uh, heads uh, fly off one of the drives, so that's uh, possibly, an again, another hallmark example of what not to do with your precious, irretrievable only copy of your data. Then again, if you have an only copy of your data and you're storing it in one place, obviously you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Seems appropriate to familiarise ourselves with the uh, drive bay actions and the meaning of these flashing lights. As you can see here, we have the, uh, the very nice uh, front panel that comes with uh, most Drobos, and it tells you drive bay actions required. Now, as we can see, our flashing green and yellow lights over here mean don't remove this drive. And that doesn't seem to be sort of, there's, there's no sort of like, we would prefer it if you did not remove this drive, or uh, please don't remove this drive if that's okay with you, it seems to be fairly unequivocal, it says don't remove this drive. So despite the fact that uh, all of this light flashing seems a little bit pointless, I'm still going to be uh, manfully patient, I'm going to uh, stop the video for the moment and come back when it's done. Okay, actually that didn't take quite as long as I was expecting, it finished about five minutes later, so right, let's do the replacement. Now, it's this drive, not this one. This is a 3 terabyte red, this is a 3 terabyte green. So let's change that one over. As you'll see, we have the uh, video playing in the background, although for some reason the train has uh, very rudely parked in the station, thereby derailing, as it were, our excellent presentation. So let's hope that that gets started soon. Perhaps we can fast forward it a little bit. And uh, yes, there we go. Oh, something of an angle on that, but. Uh, Anyway, let's see what happens now when we take out hopefully the right drive this time and replace it with something bigger. This is going to be a two-handed affair, I'm sure. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Old three terabyte green. I'm sure we can find something to do with that. Actually, I'll be honest, I have another Drobo, which I'll probably stick that in. There is a mania in my life. I feel I have not enough hard drive space. And I always thought, Drobos, very expensive, very expensive, can't afford them. And then I just uh, succumbed to want, I want it, I must have one of these, I must have all of them, I must have all of the Drobos, I want the network attached Drobo, I want the big 8 bay Drobo, and I especially want the 5 uh, bay a Thunderbolt Drobo. But uh, that perhaps for another time. But uh, for now, as you can see, uh, the train is still moving, it's uh, bumping along a little bit there, and it's, uh, but uh, you wouldn't expect it to be completely smooth after all, but uh, nonetheless, let's take our four terabyte drive, uh, sorry, six terabyte drive, what am I thinking about, and just slot it in and watch everything do what it should, because it's all going to be perfect. 
as you can see, the uh, yellow light flashing there as it's thinking, I don't know what's going on there. It knows that we don't want these drives removed because it knows those are part of the existing array. That's fine. Nonetheless, as you can see, video is still rolling, which is always pleasing. As we can see, we had about uh, three terabytes free on this before. Um, adding in a six terabyte drive here, obviously, a certain amount of that is going again, uh, <coughs> as with the last time we did it, is going to go in uh, redundancy. Um, but uh, oh, actually, that happened rather quickly. We now have 4.46 terabytes free, which is certainly not worth £200 of anybody's money. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully, uh, perhaps uh, in the future, when I add more drives, I'll have even more drive space. And of course I could always turn off the uh, dual drive redundancy. At the moment this has got um, um, uh, enough uh, sort of uh, backup and redundancy of storage across all these drives to account for any two of them going missing. So, <coughs> so that's fine. But obviously that takes up an awful lot of, um, uh, of the drive space that you could otherwise use. Um, there is the option to turn it to, uh, just to, I say, turn it down to single drive redundancy. Single drive redundancy is actually the default with the Drobo, so uh, it's uh, partly my fault for sticking uh, uh, dual drive redundancy, but, you know, new technology, the first thing, like, I've not had this for a terribly long period of time, and uh, you have to be slightly distrustful with things at first, and, you know, I just don't want to lose any data at the moment. At the moment, my need for storage is just not quite uh, enough that uh, I, I'm sort of like trying to eke out every single last possible byte at the expense of uh, safety. So, for the moment, that's fine. We'll leave it as it is. Now, we'll see over here, um, back on the uh, Drobo dashboard, if I go to the status page, we can see that, oh my god, oh my god! 44 hours re remaining, so so I'll just uh, keep this, this camcorder running for the next two days so that you can see what happens here. Or actually, possibly I won't do that. <coughs> uh, oh no, it's uh, as is typical with um, its initial estimates of data protection, the uh, time has already fallen by two hours. So uh, possibly this is not going to take too long. I mean, to be fair, I mean these are these are big drives. I mean this is a six terabyte drive. Obviously, it's replacing a three terabyte drive. So right now the Drobo is taking all the redundant data from these four drives on either side, and it's writing at least three terabytes of data to this drive. That's going to take a while. You expect that? Um, <clears throat> oh no, and the. Uh, to, Data protection time has gone back up to 41 hours again, but uh, so that, that that's fine. We'll let it do what it what what it do. As, as I as I say, as you can see, I mean, like our train journey has been uninterrupted. That's been moving quite nicely, even while all the shenanigans over here have been going on. But uh, nonetheless, I think we'll leave it, let it get on with what it wants to do, and uh, chalk it up as another successful uh, experiment. So as we can see here, four terabytes, five terabytes. 6, 3, and 4. So when it comes time to replace the next drive, that will be the one <coughs> which would be logical to replace with something bigger. But, you know, realistically, across the last couple of months, I've spent far too much money on hard drives already. So I'm going to try and be sensible about this and not succumb to uh, pure storage lust. And if you've been watching this video for this long, then I'm pretty much going to take it that uh, you you love a good hard drive as much as I do. But uh, for now, that's uh, that's as much uh, entertainment as we have. So uh, thank you for watching. If you've got a comment, please leave one. And, uh, well, see you next time.